This is a BTC special report. Hello, this is Nigel Crabapple reporting live on the scene at the sensational trial of Leonard Vol, accused murderer of wealthy heiress Emily French. Vol is accused of hitting French over the head with a kosh. If you're wondering what a kosh is, you've asked the wrong man. Mr. Clegg, as the forensic specialist who first found traces of blood on the coat that Vol was wearing the night of the murder, do you think he did it? You can't say anything of consequence about this trial at all. Um, she's both psychopathic. Everybody's both psychopathic. So, no, no. Excuse me, Miss Janet McKenzie? Yes. You are acquainted with the accused murderer, Leonard Bull, are you not? I am. And do you think he did it? Of course I do. Why? Because he is a murderer. What are you doing on Friday? Inspector Hearn, you were the first on the scene in the death of Emily French. In your expert opinion, do you think he could have done it? Well, yes, sir, I do think he could have done it. Um, he, the evidence definitely points in a way that he could have done it, um, but there's, it could also go the other way. He might not have done it. Um, it could have been a burglary or really, uh, anything else, really. Well, you might say that either way, you're thirsty for justice. Yes, sir, I, I'd say I am. I do would love to find out who yeah. it was, yes. As the head coroner who did the autopsy of Miss Emily French, can you tell us any more pertinent information that points to Leonard Bull as the accused murderer? No. Really? Yes. Do you think that Leonard Vogel could have done it? Oh, of course not. He's not the sort. He's far too nice. Oh, what, what type of sort is he? You know, very charming. That sort. Maybe is he, is he your type of sort? Well, he's married, so I wouldn't go near him, but... Would you call me charming? Um, I'd say so. Mrs. Mayhew, do you think that Leonard Vaux killed Emily French? No, of course not. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Really? Yes. You can tell me with absolute assurance that Leonard Vaux did not kill Emily French? Yes. Well, not much can be said about this interview. Mrs. Miles. Yes? As the head prosecutor in the case against Leonard Vaux, what would you say the likelihood is of getting a conviction? Entirely. I am putting Leonard Vole in jail where he belongs. And Robarts, I'm going to defeat him. Well, there's one thing we can say about this case, and that's that you're having a fantastic hair day. Mr. Carr, as the manservant of Sir Wilfred in this case, you have an inside look. How do you think the case is going? I'm not really sure how the case is going. All I know is that Sir Wilfred is looking very handsome today. His robe is very clean and his wig is perfectly positioned on his head. It sure is. Yes, sir. Can, can I go? No, yes. Thank you, sir. The evidence against your client seems damning at best. Yes. Do you think that you can get Leonard Vole off? No, no, there, there is no doubt in my mind that Leonard Vole is completely and utterly innocent. I believe in my abilities as a lawyer to be able to get him off, and I believe that he's completely innocent of all charges. I have no doubt whatsoever. Why did you kill Emily French? Why? Why? Why?
even know what a kosh is. But one thing is for certain. This was a BTC special report. Find out who done it. Go to Thin Ice Theatre's production of Agatha Christie's Witness for the Prosecution this weekend at the Dempster Street Theatre in Evanston, Illinois. March 22nd at 7.30, March 23rd at 7.30, and March 24th at 3 o'clock. Go to thinicetheatre.com for more information. You're watching BTC. Stay tuned. <laughs>